It is currently the morning of the 2nd of August, 2024. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. The big topic today is not a named tropical system, but this monsoonal gyre anchored just south of Honshu and in creating this inflow of moisture across the Philippines, yeah, Palau, and even over towards Guam as well. You can really just see it here on the satellite imagery, but if you look at microwave imagery, also giving you a clear idea of where this is, that inflow stretching all all the way back towards the Indian Ocean. Now you're thinking, okay, what does that mean? Well, simply put, an increase in rain showers, especially for the central and southern areas of the Philippines. Let's discuss this and how it could influence any future tropical systems. Well, first and foremost, we have that low pressure area just anchored there south of Honshu, and it's going to continue to linger, and all the while, pumping in that moisture coming in from the southwest around it. You can kind of see it right in here. Our monsoonal trough over Guam, that inflow pushed across the Philippines, thus increasing that chance of these afternoon the evening thunderstorms, especially in western areas of Mindoro, parts of Asais, including over towards Cebu and even into Mindanao. Rain totals are not nearly the amount we saw when we had that enhanced Tabagat from Typhoon Karina. Uh, that was just much more inflow back here towards the north. If you remember that one, there was that low right there. It just created that significant inflow. This is a monsoonal gyre well back towards the east. You still have that inflow. And still looking at these spots, seeing about 50 to 100 millimeters of total precipitation, but it's not the same setup. Just want to kind of clear the air on that so no one's saying, hey, uh, you, you said there was going to be this crazy amount of rain. I still think western areas, places like Ilo, Ilo, Cebu, over towards Pelawan, will see this enhanced habagat, this monsoonal flow, but it, it's not the same situation. Still, though, want to continue to watch for that chance of increasing rainfall in these afternoon to evening thunderstorms, especially across western areas of Mindanao, over there towards Pelawan, Bacolod here, 29, only for the high. Look at Rojas. Look at that, just the icons in the west coast here, that increase in the particles, just that increase in showers compared to the east coast like Legaspi over towards Tacloban. A semi drier for the time being across northwestern Luzon, but those showers are going to pick up out there as this overall monsoonal gyre slowly lifts off towards the north as we look ahead over the uh, upcoming days. Now, with all of that said, what does this mean for a tropical system? I mean, we just showed you this moisture flow that's pumping in across the area but here's the deal uh this also brings in an abundance of shear with it and you get this kind of west to uh east flow versus the easterlies dominating just like that i mean typically you get storm systems attract like this right so as long as this upper level low and this monsoonal gyre remains in place our threat for any tropical systems remains low in fact, this is our SpaghettiOs here using the ECMWF guidance, and we're going to look ahead at the ensembles. Now, if you're new to this channel, you know I like using these SpaghettiOs. They basically, it's a fun fun name for a really important model, especially in long-range guidance, where you get about 50 different ensembles, members of one particular model, that come together and they give you these pretty pictures that we see in like, uh, this image here. This is all of them blended together and you get the operational guidance, kind of the average of these 50 different models. But the SpaghettiOs kind of shows you beneath the surface here and what each of those members are saying and you kind of want to see the confidence. Well, first off, see the circle right in here? That is the confidence that there is that monsoonal gyre, all right? So you got this broad area of low pressure just centered south of Honshu and it lingers and it continues to linger while drifting off towards Okinawa as we go ahead through next week. All the while, you see any circles south of that? See anything trying to pop up? Not really. This is just going to continue to create that sheer environment and thus decreasing our potential for named tropical systems, which is great news, albeit we still are going to be talking about that inflow and we're still going to be talking about those scattered showers out here. So uh, the good news, you know, no named tropical systems, we still have other type of impacts to uh, continue to want to watch out for. So afternoon showers still into Manila and even over towards Cebu as well. Looking at the flyover, places like Bangkok, you still have some thunderstorms as well as over towards Manila, as I just mentioned. Scrolling off here towards the north, we also continue to see that into Taipei with partly cloudy skies into Naha and over towards Tokyo, recovering from very heavy rainfall uh, earlier this week into Saitama. Hama, you got partly cloudy skies and temperatures into the 30s. So we're going to keep an eye on all of that 
Uh, good stuff happening out here across the Western Pacific today. But once again, as I said in my last update, no tropical threats at this time. We're going to continue to monitor it. So if you want to support the channel, check out our uh, subscribe button and uh, check out our Patreon link is down below. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. And number one thing, of course, is stay safe out there.